Hey everyone, it's Rasheen. I'm having major difficulties today, so I'm shooting from another location. You're not gonna get to see my wines today. You get to see my house, my apartment. And in the far background, you see the room I usually record in, but I'm just having all types of issues. But I did not want to uh, miss the opportunity to introduce you to this wine of the week. Okay, um, before I get to that, I know some of you are like, where's Coco? Uh, if you follow me on Facebook, you know Coco and I have been going at it. Uh, she's been acting like she runs the show and I had to put her on timeout. So Coco may be back later, but for now, it's me, it's Regine with your wine of the week. Super excited to introduce you to this wine because it fulfills my four P's, okay? So there are four P's that make me fall in love with a wine. The people, the places from, uh, the palate, and the pairings, so four P's. And here we go. Wine of the week, a four P wine. This is the Winter's Hill. There you go, you can see it. I'll have a photo. It is the Winter's Hill uh, Rosé of Pinot Noir. So first, let me tell you about the people. Uh, the Gladhearts are the third generation uh, running this winery. Uh, they are some of the nicest people you've ever met. In 2017, I actually took a group of Shall We Wine followers to uh, Portland and the Willamette Valley to experience wine country, and they were absolutely one of our favorites. Uh, I have a long history with this winery. If you go back to the very first uh, Shall We Wine TV episode that I did, we did feature uh, Winter's Hill. And uh, go to blog, I have that link to the very first episode. But we're here to talk about the four Ps. So the second P is the place. The wine comes from the uh, Dundee Hills, which is in the Willamette Valley of Oregon. Dundee Hills is a, um, it's a group of small hills and um, it's about 48 miles southwest of Portland. Um, gorgeous area. It's known for having this uh, red volcanic soil. Uh, the, the climate is a cool climate, so it's perfect for the grapes that Winter Hill produces. And those are Pinot Noir, Pinot Blanc, uh, and Pinot Gris. Also really beautiful Chardonnays come out of this area. P number four is the palate. Uh, this wine is delicious, super delicious. First thing you're gonna notice is that the nose um, really like reaches out to you. So you, you're, you're um, greeted with the smell of fresh flowers, of cherries, um, of fresh melons. Um, I get a little bit of um, citrus on the nose too, really beautiful. On the palate, uh, this wine is super, super giving. It fills the mouth with a uh, cherry flavors, watermelon, citrus, spices. This wine is gorgeous. My fourth P is pairing. You guys know I've been complaining that I am slowly depleting my wine inventory. So I typically gravitate, or right now I'm gravitating to wines that are gonna pair with different meals. So on the blog, I show you the first bottle I've opened, I opened two, First bottle I opened, I paired with three different meals. A curry dish, a, um, the second meal was brunch, I made an omelet, and the third was a wonton soup. So this wine is really flexible. Go to the Winters Hill website, uh, order a few bottles, join their wine club. When you get your bottle, you know what to do. Take a photo, post with the hashtag, shall we wine, put me on. Cheers.